Hey developer and welcome to another Code World video. For today's video we will explain you briefly how to solve the maze game of Blockly games. Google Blockly is a visual programming language composed of a set of instructions that we can combine as if they were the pieces of a puzzle. In this way we can create from simple to complex programs easily. The main advantage offered by black programming languages is that it allows beginner programmers to concentrate on the logic of programming by abstracting most of the hard work from the grammar of their own language. One of the most known projects that use Blockly is the Blockly Games project of Google, a series of educational games that teach programming. It is designed for children who have not had prior experience with computer programming. By the end of these games, the players will be ready to use conventional text-based languages. The maze level is basically an introduction to loops and conditionals. It starts pretty simple, but every level is more challenging than the last. Having said that, let's get started with the solution of every level. In the first level, you will need to move forward twice, so just place two move forward blocks and that's it. But don't get too excited, this gets worse with the time. For the level number 2, you will need to move forward once, then turn to the left and move forward again. Lastly, turn to the right and move forward one last time. In the third level, we have a block that we know in programming as a loop. In this case, its name is repeat until. All the logic inside this block will be repeated until we reach the goal. Just place this block and put a move forward block inside. In the level number 4, we will place a repeat until block. Inside, we will move forward once, then turn to the left, move forward once, and lastly turn right again. This logic will be repeated until we reach the goal. In the level number 5, you will need to move forward twice, then turn to the left and lastly place a repeat until block and move forward until we reach the goal. In the level number 6, you will need to move forward until we reach the goal, verifying if there is a path to the left. If there is any, you shall turn to the left and that's it. In the level number 7, you will need to move forward until we reach the goal, verifying if there's a path to the right. If there is any, you shall turn to the right and that's it. In the level number 8, you will need to keep moving until we reach the goal, verifying if there is a path to every side. This means, if there is a path to the left, you should turn to the left, and if there is a path to the right, you should turn to the right. This must be done simultaneously. In the level number 9, you will need to keep moving, verifying if there is any path in every direction. This means forward, right and left. On every situation, you shall turn to the respective duration and that's it.
And finally, for the level number 10, although it seems pretty complicated, it's actually pretty simple to solve. As first, in your logic, you will need to verify if there's a path to the left, turn to the respective duration if there is any, and keep moving. You will need to verify the same twice and keep moving. Lastly, if there's a path to the right, you should turn to the respective direction and move forward once again. This logic will be repeated until we reach the goal. In this way, you will have completed all the levels of this interesting game. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more content about software development. Until next time.